Does evolution from a libertine visitor of the ladies to a paranoid priest is expressed in the seventh holy sonnet. Done concerned about his final resting place in heaven or hell, seeks repentance from God and thus reevaluates his life. Dunn's belief in the judgment of Christ is expressed and gives the poem a paranoid nature in which he rattles upon the infinite ways his life could end. War, death, age, agues, tyrannies. He is truly desperate, especially with the knowledge of the apocalyptic revelations of which he makes reference to. All whom the flood did and fire shall overthrow. In reading the poem, we delve into his troubled mind and can now understand why he's become a priest, especially after his lust-filled encounters. He fights back and forth with himself, asking for God's repentance, but then denying it, saying he's unworthy of the Lord's grace. Eventually, he succumbs to the realisation that God's acceptance is the only way. Dunn then pleads for forgiveness. Here on this lowly ground, teach me how to repent. Ultimately, it is a conflation of Dunn's holy knowledge and paranoid minds that gives us this poem, raw and bare, showing us Dunn's fragile and innocent nature and an insight into 15th century religious beliefs.